Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect Andromeda. I'm the Sirius JG. And uh, Cal Calo versus Gil has been the hottest and most Pathfinder. engrossing feud since... Um, oh, he's not happy with us. Uh, I just loaded the game where we sided with Gil. But this has been the most engrossing feud since Los Bariquas versus DOA. But, um... Tell me something else about the ship. I'm sorry, Ryder. I don't really feel like reminiscing. But that's about all we're going to get. I'll let you so I went back with the... that. I'm not going to go through the whole thing again inside with Calo over Gil. Because I checked online. It's interesting. I wanted to see if it makes any difference. I suspected it didn't. That's been the way of this game so far. All indications are that it doesn't make any difference. But, um... It was interesting that one person uh, wrote up uh, a little brief discussion of it. And... Um, and that was one of the first hits from Google, if you do, like, Callow versus Gill. Uh, but then there was another website where it was, like, it had the first two sentences or so of this other person's article. Uh, and then underneath that was a link to click that said, this is a preview of the full article. To read the full article, please join today. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> you just flat out stole somebody else's fucking social media write-up of this and are, like, making it part of your membership website? It's just fucking ridiculous. Oh, now we're a minute away from being able to collect rewards. All right, guys, we're going to stall for a minute. That way we can actually get some rewards and then uh, jump down to the next planet and start working on a new set of rewards. So I guess i got to... So we're studying cool life forms. I guess we've collected uh, some samples. Well, this pie jack is, well, I mean, it's something you get for ordering the collector's edition. Or was it a pre-order bonus? Either way, it's not that big of a deal. Just looking for attention, aren't you? Mm-hmm. It sure is. It's not really that cute. It's, like, it doesn't seem like it's furry. That Like, it wouldn't be pleasant to pet this thing, would it? Is that a minute yet? Yes, it was. All right, let's get going to Planet Exile Land. I've meant I've been talking about this for a while. Its existence was kind of spoiled for me by the pre-release uh, materials, and I kept thinking it was going to be somewhere on EOS. But apparently, there's a whole other planet of scary Exile guys. So let's go there. Do Anomaly some. on sensors. Oh, well, let me get back in there, then. I was not expecting a new anomaly. I wonder if we have to go re-explore uh, places we've already been to now, looking for new anomalies as the plot advances. Oh, well, we did have a quest to, to do something with the Angaran satellite stuff. I suppose we could do that quest before I go to this planet. I, could <laughs> I don't know how much that'll piss you guys off, though. So this got caught up in the scourge, which According makes sense. According to that astronomer on Aya, a satellite should be here. I'm not detecting anything. If it was here, it's gone. You it's... mean destroyed? I mean, gone. Destruction would leave debris. We've got nothing. You mean Let's debris. Let's try another nav point. This is the nav point provided by Americo de Jure, but there is neither evidence of a satellite nor debris from one. 60 remnant research data. Why would we get remnant research data? Oh, well. I could argue with it. Uh, it's one of the more useful research data we can get. Let's uh, let's switch to that quest. It shouldn't take too long, right? Well, it didn't become a new uh, safe journeys. Forgotten history. It shouldn't take too long. We can do it entirely from the, our ship. Uh, it is marked for safe journey stuff. Cool. I wonder if they're going to explain the Scourge in this game, or if that's going to get left for a sequel. It'd 
be really curious. I mean, this game might not get a sequel. Apparently, is people have really been pissing on it in the uh, gaming circles. I'm picking up something. Oh, they get caught up in the scourge. Is the scourge eating them, or someone collected them? That's not an anomaly. We were told to go search this point. But the mechanics of it are, are that you detect anomalies. It's a game mechanic. They're not really adjusting it for the fact that that's not what's happening here story-wise. You're sure that astronomer's nav points are correct? He's not just trying to, to send so. us into the scourge. There's nothing out here. The scourge didn't swallow a satellite whole. You can't do that, right? I'll let you know. Let's check other nav points. Anyone else interested in this quest? No. <laughs> no. That was my jaw impression. Takes a lot longer to hop back out here. Um, the Java system. Han Java. Did you just say hand job? <laughs> Han Java. That's from something. The evil Han Jabba. Did you just say Han Job? This guy's uh, sci-fi uh, screenplay of Star Worlds. Anomaly detected. Yeah, yeah, way out of you. Well, that doesn't look like Scourge. Normally, it's sending Anomaly us found. right into the middle of a bunch of Scourge. Unless there's like a little pocket of Scourge just popping up over here. Chloe, are you gonna fly us here, or are you gonna like jettison me into space for siding with Gil? What's going on? Ooh, an actual thingy. Let me guess. No Ingar and satellite? No, but I've got something else. Message buoy from an Ingaran ship. They came here looking and didn't find anything either. Left a marker for us. Must be the team our astronomer sent. They headed to a new nav point. We should join the party. Come join the party. The fast and easy way. Well, we got Helios research data. They just want to reward us for following the quest, even if it doesn't make any sense that we would get these specific rewards. Hunting the Archon Kadara. So I didn't read. I read it in my head, not out loud. But the the description basically said that there are the satellite was doing short range transmissions. However, that works in space. And uh, the idea is that you would have to find that specific. You would have to be searching for that specific nav point in order to find it. It was not a transmission that was meant to be detected by anyone else. I actually waited for it to say it this time. Probe away. I found something. I found something. It's the coordinates that we were already given, so I didn't find anything. Never mind. Yeah, there's a few specific systems where they have a whole bunch of scourge going on, and other systems seem to be okay. I guess the scourge is attacking systems with habitable planets, though. It doesn't seem to be natural. Stand by. How it acts. We're cutting through heavy interference from the scourge. We are pretty close for comfort. Something's drifting just inside. And Garn ship in pieces. No life signs. Who did this? Cat? I found the ship's log, scanning and downloading. Something drifted Scavengers. just inside the day the scavengers the died. The caught them stealing satellites. Oh. The scavs fought back, and the Angara collided with the scourge. Can we find the scavengers? I have their ship's transponder ID. It's registered out of Kadara port. Well, I guess we're getting sent to Kadara port anyway. Garn survey vessel suffered catastrophic damage during a high-speed collision with the Scourge. Most wreckage remains trapped inside the anomaly. But we got research data. So now all roads lead to Kadara port. It's like the game knew that it needed to, like, get me over here. Get over here! The Angara have some odd uh, shuttle designs, though, don't they? System, Govorka. Approach 
Ancient Kadara. Besides being a haven for Nexus exiles, what do we know about this place? Yeah, that's scary. Group of exiles called the Outcasts liberated Kadara port from the Ket. Until recently, their power was absolute. But a new gang, the Collective, has been shipping it away. Real shady bastards led by an unknown called the Charlatan. Well, with luck, they'll be too busy shooting at each other to notice us. Why uh, did we not hear about any of this before? I suppose it makes sense she knows something about it, but... Actually, wait, does it? I don't know. I guess she was up and about, wake, awake and doing stuff during the uh, split where the Nexus Exiles left, but I don't know why. I don't know for sure that it makes sense that she knows what they got up to since. So here's the planet Tom Baker. Disputes among exiles break out frequently over Baker. The gas shine is useful for ships looking to replenish their helium-3 supplies and thus a resource to be claimed. Anomaly on sensors. Oh, hey, maybe we got more nav point data, but I don't think that's what's going on. Deploying probe. I found something. Why did we not notice this before? I had to scan a planet before we noticed the anomaly. Maybe the starship wrecked on its way to the planet we just scanned. Cool, there's a black hole down there. Check it out, y'all. Take it, check it out. The paltry remains of a cat dropship. Whoever destroyed it thoroughly scavenged its part, but perhaps there's something they missed. It looks like they missed quite a few things. We've already scanned a third of the system? It looks like there's a whole bunch of stuff to scan. Oh, there's six things. The starship wreckage was two of six. There's mine. What's yours is mine. Or is it an actual mine that we can run into with our ship and blow it up? Kello's ultimate revenge on us for picking on him and siding with Gil. Gil's willing to kill himself just to stop Gil from fucking up his ship. Mine. Cobalt and boron are among the resources available of the aptly, if unimaginatively, named mine. Workers struggle under heavy gravity and frigid temperatures to bring their prizes home. Probes launched. Here we located a dwarf in the Getting mine. Scan. Mountain. Dense and radioactive metals make portions of mine difficult to scan. This mountain, thick with valuable minerals, has gone undiscovered until our arrival. Sure. We got experience for it, though. That's awesome. Now we got 50% progression? I'm very confused about how many planets there are. I guess Kadara doesn't count. Or they're rounding on. I don't know. No, oh, wait, no. Yeah, it's six, and we looked at three. It makes perfect sense, GG. What the fuck? It's kind of late. <laughs> Trobror. Trobror is robot spelled backwards. <laughs> it's actually not. Loosely translated, Trobror is the Krogan word for cinder or ash heap. They're, this massive des desert world harbors no life, water, or minerals of any use. Trobror is the Krogan god of toys that are robot spelled backwards. Anomaly detected. Thybernos, a massive ball of rock and frozen methane. Thybernos has little apparent minerals or scientific value. Would be miners from Kadara keep scanning it just in case. Hey, it's a bunch of scourge, it looks like. Tracking a huge mineral deposit. Or beryllium. Metal ideal for lightweight construction, a variety of applications. Alright, well, we're running out of things to do. 
other than visit this next planet. So I do want to throw down a save in case we're immediately thrown into an important dialogue between Gil and Callow or something similar. I sure hope, I, I imagine we'll be down there in space armor, but I sure hope we get to go down and visit the, like the, I'm sure they'll be like super cool and badass, and there'll probably be at least one of them who's like all hot and, you know, whatever. Um, and we'll be like, you know, sexy hot, I mean, and we'll be down there wearing our like Blasto shirt and with our uh, Beats by Dre headphones. <laughs> Pretty cool, eh? Standing order for all incoming ships. The port is a ceasefire zone by order of Sloan Kelly. She was head of Nexus security. Mm -hmm. Be ready for anything and keep comms open. Should hear from our resistance contact soon. Aranis World, originally settled by the Angara, Kadara is now a haven for the Nexus exiles and pirates. In addition to criminal element, the planet is plagued by toxic water caused by an atypical amount of sulfide minerals. So great. Well, we now know what our, um, now we know what's going to get fixed by the vault, and also probably what will lead to us not being able to explore everywhere until we deal with the vault. That would be my guess. Ooh, Nakmore Drak Krogan Betrayal. Been hoping to advance his mission. Uh, Hunting the Archon and Safe Journeys. Oh, I hope we get a chance to choose who we're taking with us. Um... I kind of want to take Korra, but I think the logical people to take with, who know a little bit about what's going on, are Drac and uh, Vetra. Although Drac... Incoming call. Oh, hold on. Patching it through. There's been a development regarding a spy, Ventureb. Rendezvous at Crawler's Song. Your contact's code name is Shayna. Shayna? Real name is... Got it. Shanene. Yeah, but... Uh, Drac was part of the Krogan who fought the the people who became the exiles. So they might not be that thrilled to see him. And again, if he's got something to advance his mission down here, we might want to bring him with. Apparently, we didn't make first contact either, because these guys already know the Angarans. And unless a lot of stuff happened between our first meetings with the... Oh, hey, we are in a stupid blaster well shirt. Exiles have stepped up their game since the revolt. Yeah, great, it's this game's fucking Omega. Not too shabby for folk who got kicked off the station. Hey, we're already hanging out with the people that I uh, thought we should go with. We should be allies. They don't deserve admiration. Or they should be allies. I mean... They got kicked off by... I don't know. I, I don't know enough about what happened before we got here to know. Why? But it seems like it's pretty obvious, it's pretty much a no-brainer that your paragon path is to reconcile all these grooves. Maybe we can get them back on our side. We know they can fight Ket. Our supplier's waiting. Come on, we're gonna be late. Do I even want to know? Nope. Bone guy. Who's your supplier? Okay, so I guess we don't get to fight in this area anyway. This is like a town. That might not have been the right way to go. An outcast guard. Looking nice. Hello, outcast guard lady. Alright, can I please talk to this person? What are you doing to these people? Nothing they weren't expecting. Port's got two rules. No guns and pay your protection fees. Protection fees? Well, you've got a gun. I thought she's a guard. What are you, the mob? <laughs> Other way around. Outcasts of the law in Kadara. You got a problem with that? You can join these assholes. Pathfinder, it will be difficult to find the spy if you're barred from the city. Dumbass. Guess that's true. What was that? Nothing. I'll be on my way. I was talking to my AI. Oh man, I guess we're not going to have a love interest uh, in that lady. Yeah, really, did we make first contact with the Angara or not? Maybe we were the first ones who made contact with Aya. That could make sense. If the Angarans here are already pals with the Nexus people, it either happened really quickly after we made first contact... We'll find a way. We always 
Or they were already tight. Okay, the guy's got to be dead by now. Stop kicking him. You can't do this. This is a home. Should have paid your protection fees, then. And Sloan wonders why people join the collective. Say that again. I dare you. Welcome to another fucking techno club. What is with... I mean, does Bioware really think we like this? And how did they get their hand? I mean, they, they came to this, like, fucking desert world or whatever. How did they get, like, all this fucking techno music and, like, you know, rave lighting already? Hey, it's a collective recruiter. Pathfinder. Interested in the collective services? How do you know who I am? The collective makes a point of knowing everything and everyone worth knowing in Helios. Only one guy's got beach by Dre headphones. Like information brokers, the pirates. The two aren't mutually exclusive. Yeah, he's right. Tell me about the show. Who is the charlatan? No one seems to have a straight answer. <laughs> he's the first the person we've asked. Leader and a private individual. Even I haven't seen him in person. You take orders from a stranger? I've met representatives. People who speak for the charlatan and carry out their will. Whoever the charlatan is, man or woman, no, that's they a robot. provide information, care. Resources. It's ours. That's enough for me. You don't find the name Charlton to be kind of suspicious? I'm having trouble nailing down what the collective is exactly. Understandable. Oh, the Zerg. We aren't one thing. Think of the us Borg. as a service provider. We cater to our clients' needs. Even if that means killing and stealing from people. Why do you keep Survival going there? It is an ugly business, Pathfinder, but unlike the outcasts, we aren't governed by hate. We're governed if by the cash. initiative proved reasonable, I'm sure the charlatan would be willing to work with the Nexus. How do I join? I just got done calling you a bunch of scumbags and murderers. How do I join you? Let's say I was interested in joining your little gang. Let's say I wasn't condescending to your that? little gang. You're more high profile than our usual members, but it's up to the charlatan who joins. If you have potential, our leader will reach out to you, usually through a representative. Ooh, Balaban. For some, that's it. Others may have to pass a test. It's different for every recruit. What's going on between the Collective and the Outcasts? Gang war, man. Officially, nothing. Unofficially, it's just like Los Periquos versus DOA. Are being drawn, Pathfinder. That's all I can say. Turf ain't nothing but lines on a map. Thanks for your time. Of course, Pathfinder. Of course. I know time is precious to you, Solarians. <laughs> This is even worse of a disco bar than the one on the Nexus. The future, folks. It's all fucking disco text. You are not drag. I thought for a second you might be drag. But you are drunk. Am I controlling what quest I'm on right now? Honey the Archon. No, I got sent straight to Honey the Archon. for someone. Mm -hmm. I'll trust a stranger offering me drinks, sure. I've got time for a drink. Not going anywhere until uh, the eagle flies past at midnight. Shayna, but you can call me Reyes. I hate the code names. I was I'm expecting also someone soon. more. And Garin. <laughs> <laughs> the resistance pays me to supply information. Not to have tentacles on my head and the EMP things. powers. So you're a smuggler? Yes, I have secret compartments. <laughs> In my ship, my ship. Venterev was arrested by Sloan Kelly, leader of the Outcasts. Word spread about what he did to Moshe Sefa. Yeah. The people are calling for his execution. And Sloan? She's a woman of the people. 
Not how I would put it. She could be all like hot, like you know, hot. Like you're supposed to think she's sexy because she's such a rebel. Like uh, you know, uh, what's her face from Omega? Because I got old. Dress it up however you want. She's a criminal. She's a criminal. She <laughs> for the initiative. Sloane was part of the uprising on the Nexus. I doubt she'll give Ven up easily. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Maybe she'll agree to a deal. There might be another way to get to Ven. You work Sloan. I'll talk to the resistance. How do I contact you if things go south? Do south? Don't worry. I'm. Hey, I will appear when the plot demands. Pay. He were the, the drinks. Change. We don't have do. credits here, you jerk. Well, now we got to meet with Sloan Kelly, so I'm wondering if we get to... Gone but not forgotten. Oh, it looks like this plot's ready to advance. I guess a couple of our uh, plots are now ready to advance. Including the thing we're doing for... Uh, well, the Turian arc can advance. And uh, our plot for uh, Nakmore Drac can advance. What about uh, Safe Journeys? I'm going scan your bar. I hope you don't mind. I don't think she can ha keep people happy with free drinks. She's absolutely right. Ha ha ha. I'm just getting ready to make that same joke. Why are these doors taking so much longer to open? Sam, tell me about Sloan Kelly. Before joining the initiative as head of Nexus Security, Miss Kelly served in the Alliance in the nearly spotless record. Nearly? She was involved in multiple altercations with other officers. So not so nearly as well as. Great. Well, let me slowly open the door. See if I can get in trouble before we even talk to Sloan Kelly by getting into a fight with pirates. I'm getting a bunch of Milky Way research data that we don't need. Real bad. Is this going to be another planet where we have no ability to drive around on the planet's surface? I was really excited about the fact that we were going to have a couple of big sandbox places to planets to play with, but it looks like we don't we don't really get those at all. I don't even know why I'm in this menu because you can't really do anything. She won. Every Milky Way ship was initiative at one point. True. Not anymore. It's not like I want the paperwork, but I gotta do my due diligence. You understand. <sighs> Perfectly. Everything all right? Yeah. Just greasing some palms so we can park the nomad. Want me to get involved? Need any help? Thanks, but I've got this. You just focus on the spy. Did you hear that, everyone? He's focusing on the spy. Oh, wait a second. I, I guess we can't advance this. I thought we saved journeys, traveled to Kadara Port. I guess that's not going to happen. Well, I do kind of want to go back and uh, check some emails. Um, but it seems like we're not actually going to be able to advance that plot until we talk to the leader of the planet because maybe we do eventually get to drive around out there after all but uh, not till after we've done a little bit with the story that could be what's going on 
Anyway, folks, um, let's check our emails and then call it a video, and when we come back, we'll... <laughs> Sorry, you keep working on that paperwork, buddy. We're just going to go off into space and come back. <laughs> we call the resistance on IM and be like, yeah, they were mean to us, so we gave up on the uh, stop of the Archon. No. Oh. But, What's up, Ryder? Why an emergency meeting? But we didn't... I didn't call it. I did. Got some disturbing news while we were on Kadara. Oh, here we go. There's some tension at the Krogan colony on Eladin. It's bad. Hey. Tension among Krogan? You don't say. And he kills her. I wouldn't waste your time with this if it wasn't important. We need to go. I agree. Nakmor Morta made herself overlord of the colony. It's weird. Weird? No. Our priority is the Archon. We have to remain focused on his next move. Jal's right. Let's just listen. No, I'm... yeah. I know dealing with so many unknowns is frustrating, but we need to hear each other out. Well, as long as we're pitching stuff, I overheard outlaws on Kadara talking about activity in the Ramav system. No, that's the system where the Turian Golden World was supposed to be. Mm. Ramav? There aren't any viable planets there. Only an asteroid field with mining ventures run by criminals. I hear Elodin's pretty making shit up. Too. Roving scavengers with mm -hmm. nothing to lose. Crap. No one fights harder than people with nothing to lose. Freedom's just another word for that. Giraffe. Freedom's just another word for nothing left to lose. Meridian is important. Let's stay open-minded. Yeah, we got the whole game to deal with that, you know? <laughs> Our goal is to create our home here. You never know how something might fit in. Anyway, get Cal the nap points for both Eladin and that potential Turian Golden World. We want all our options ready to go. Hey, I didn't say dismissed or meeting adjourned or anything. Yeah, but you're wearing Beats by Dre headphones. Meeting adjourned. As you were. VidCon? No. So it was interesting to head for a new world. So I think we got our last uh, planet that we get to. When's the last time you had a normal conversation? What? This is a normal conversation. <laughs> no. This is you trying to keep me down. Categorize my flaws. Put a label on me. That's oh, God, PB. What the fuck ever, PB. So... Okay, we got new uh, things. These are things where we need to improve Kadara. So I guess we do get to drive around at some point. So if we go to Eladin, the uh, Krogan planet, I think that's the last... Uh, because we have not discovered it yet, but... Kadara, I think Eladin is the last planet that we have a viability meter for. Although, they also mentioned the Krogan Golden Worlds. But supply lines... Trade capacity... Oh, this thing seems to have unlocked uh, three different potential... Oh, wait, no. Four different things are related to Kadara. Interesting. So, Grey Market Connections 2, even better prices. Supply lines increases the amount of raw materials and consumables that can be purchased from traders. I like that. Unless it's just increasing how many are available to purchase at a time and not increasing which ones are available. Trade capacity, too. I don't care about fusion mod support. I do care about. So you need market dominance, which we already have, and 90% uh, viability, which we do not have, obviously. Well, I want to check my email. Now it sounds like there's a whole bunch of new dialogues. So maybe our next video... Oh, I hate to say it, folks, but our next video is probably going to be a talkie video. Maybe we're not going to... have new email at your terminal, Pathfinder. Thank you, Sam. At least it's actually true now. If recorded to cipher the transponder. Well, I guess she got a transponder. Oh. Cora's thing got available, too. Right, I had a breakthrough on the location of the Asari Ark. Please come talk to me in the Tempest ASAP. Acknowledged. From Avidus Risk, writer. I mean, rumors of scavengers found pieces of an ark on a planet called Eladin. Might be nothing, but might be worth checking out. Okay. I want to get to Eladin soon, but I also want to do Korra's loyalty mission as soon as possible. 
To Ryder, from Unknown Sender. Ryder, must be brief. I hear my virus was a success and Sam is disconnected. Excellent news. We should talk in person. I have closed an app point for our sanctuary on Kadara. The virus was only a first step. You could be a strong ally in future efforts. Night. Notification 347, carry signal interruption resolved. So that'll be that, that mission related to the Nexus with the uh, anti-AI people finally advancing. Ryder from Captain Dunn. Ryder, please see me on the Hyperion deck to discuss the sensitive matter. Another interview. Jeez, we barely did anything. Yeah, we like really did nothing on Kadara Port. There isn't much official word from there or the Exiles. Can you give me a few on-camera details? About Kadara from Vetra. Hey, Ryder. One of my friends from Kadara sent a list of tips for surviving there. It's mostly common sense, but here are some gems. No one knows who the charlatan is. Asking's dangerous. Be really careful dealing with Sloane and anyone who works for her. Politics on Kadara are less about who's got the biggest stick and more about who's going to use the sticks they have in creative ways. There's a hole in the wall place in the slums that makes the best cup of Criola. Do not mix Criola with other stimulants no matter what anyone says. Humans only. Do not use... Do not ask Umi the bartender to surprise you. Ha ha ha. Invitation diplomatic meeting. From the Culture Exchange, we're currently hosting the first Angarn Ambassador at the Nexus. Despite the importance of your duties, we hope you and next return to the station will coincide with this visit. A cordial meeting between the President, blah, 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 blah. Update on Jaw from Flexi Lexi. You should know, I spoke to Jaw. After some reflection, he seems to accept the process of exaltation cannot be reversed. Thank you for backing me up. I know it's not easy delivering bad news, especially to a friend. I guess that dialogue made sense. Continue to run tests and study the data. Suvi's movie night snacks. Whatever Suvi's cooking up in the gallery, galley smells terrible. She says it's for movie night. Good cause, bad choice of snacks. I can do better. Come see me. Jeez. This sounds bad, kid. Thought I'd show you what Strux sent me. A transcript of an audio log that's got me worried about the quality. Sounds like Mortis cooking up something. Don't know what to think. Stop arguing with me, Brink. It's ti payback time for the initiative. They don't care about us, but they will soon. Something's gonna blow up that I'm now that I'm Overlord. Soon they're gonna know I'm Overlord, and once I execute my plan, there'll be no denying the Krogan rules. Helios, they'll come begging us. I keep thinking Morda must be a female name, but I don't suppose there's any reason to assume that. Okay, Morda, all got a team together. No Krogan bows before the Nexus again. So the Krogan are about to fucking attack the Nexus. That does seem like it's worth dealing with. But despite appearances, I'm sure all of these quests give us all the time we want to deal with them, right? Mass Effect Two or Mass Effect Three occasionally threw you a, a little uh, curveball where you had to do a quest timely. Um, but um, I think we've—I'm th going to assume we've got all the time we want. And I'm actually going to uh, try to deal with some of these are of more interest to me than uh, advancing the story with the Archon. Even though I do want to get that planted up to 100%, uh, because I like some of the things that uh, we will get as options for perks once we do. Anyway, folks, I'm Mysterious GG. I want to thank you guys very much for watching, and hope you join me next time for more of Mass Effect Andromeda. Bye bye.